<laughs> Welcome everyone to Paddling Pool 226. We are about to get into it because everyone's writing up. But before we get there, hello, I am Zari. And I am joined by the wonderful Majora. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely goaded Castle Couch today. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. I'm really looking forward to this. We are going to be getting into Clam Blitz Manta. And this is Disband versus SKL49. Can't yeah. say I've seen that name. Uh, so I don't, don't know who they are, but we see a lot of disbands. We see a lot of disbands at Paddling I mean, Pool. As I look at the names of SKL, it's basically like the first letter of their names. So, uh, Sicarius, Kai, Lumi, and oh then my God. 49 something. <laughs> oh I don't know. Oh my God. I didn't even notice that yet. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just their, it's just their names. It seems like such a like, ah, yes, we're the 49th S SKL. Or the, yeah. We, we've vibing. But no, it's just, it's just we're, their names, we're, guys. We're it's starting with names. insanely creative uh, team names today. Yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The but stakes right. are high, guys. <laughs> really, it can only it can only go down from here. But anyway, let's get into <laughs> this. Gladly, <laughs> one of these teams bring it to the table. All right, all right. Oh, we've Nautilus. seen that from this. Yep, this fan likes the Nautilus. And we've, yep. There's there's a there's a Octobrush though. There's yeah. Octobrush. Ooh. Yeah, it's fitting with Zip Crusher, and because of that, he has all his drop rolls. So we might see some nice Zip Crusher in the gameplay today. Yes, yes, which is always absolutely fun. Um, yeah, and you don't true. see as much except for with the, those uh, Tetras. I swear, Tetras <laughs> are the one weapon I see with Zipcast in these kind of tournaments. But anyway, already kind of like one going down on each side here as uh, each team is trying to find a way uh, towards <laughs> Oh my god, the Nautilus <laughs> literally just shredded the ball point. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> they want to fight, they really want to fight. <laughs> they do, they do. Oh my goodness, the T Tech could not find the brush, and then the brush could find the T Tech. Uh, yet again, it's just, there's a lot happening. Disband, three of them are in spawn at the moment. There's just that Nautilus trying to hold them back, um, which might mean that they're able to get somewhere with this, but the rest of Disband is coming back in now, so it does seem like their personal advantage is very much uh, not uh, as prominent anymore, but they're still pushing, they're still going for it. Can they get it in? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, they can. And they also got two down from this band. So we see the crab tank being absolutely shredded from Fryer but they're on the right side. So they can, they could score, but they only have three times at the ball point right now. And they might get through against. Yes, they will. Yes, yes, indeed. And they're able to get a couple more clams in, but still no clams. We've got no <laughs> clams. And they've gone back into mid, but they I can see that someone's kind of getting chased there. Um, not very clear what was happening beyond that, but it does seem like the chase is still ongoing. Never mind, not anymore. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> one down on each side here, both teams fighting to keep or get mid. Yeah, I mean, it's, not, it's the Octobrush again, like flanking on the enemy bunker, but yeah, they get taken out. But I mean, why not? I think the jump, <laughs> the, the, the jump literally just said, no, you won't cancel me, so <laughs> big, big L to you. And now we see that the dude is now on top, maybe want to push with their crap. No, they won't. Okay, now they will. But there is also an inkjet, and we, as we know, inkjet can absolutely shred the crap deck, and this actually happened, but there's this ends up running on the enemy bunker now over the grace, and there's the, the other ends up now fighting against the Octopus. What? what? Why did they get the kill? What? <laughs> <laughs> How That's could this good. happen? Question. I don't know. <laughs> that was a <laughs> weird one. Um, but yeah, Disband is still very much in the back foot here, trying to get into mid, but the ball point just outranges everything at the moment. Um, and they're trying, and they're able to get them. That is three going. Uh, SKL, S SKL 49 <laughs> are not in a good position to defend here, but you never know. They might be able to. Mm, I say that. I say that. <laughs> I say that. And, and then they, they broke get the battery, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But are they going to be able to get anything else in? I am not sure. There's one going for it. No. Well, the TTK has no clams. He just... Uh, so, he just ran... Yeah. Oh, okay, I was... Yeah, he just ran without, without any clams. Yeah, I was under the impression that he... Of course he had clams, but no. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... Maybe he thought he had clams, but they actually didn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then suddenly pressing A didn't do anything. Um, 
Yeah, that would not, uh, that was, well, it's still a push, though. It's still a push, which is important for, uh, Dispan to get one going, especially since we're, like, a minute and a half left in the game here. Um, they do need to keep up the pressure and try to find their way in again, mm. but having three... That was a delayed wipe. Having a delayed wipe happen and SKL already have uh, a clam ready, that's not ideal. Certainly not. Yeah, they get a few more points. And they have the pity clam, yeah, at the back, and they will jump Ooh. into the subcast and they get it in and risk. Oh my god, they're reducing to 30 points left, and there's now the bullpen and the octopus at the front, and the octopus just actually a mess for the enemy team and also the bomb is just shredding these <laughs> duelies down oh my god and it's just 24 more points but the, i think the yeah the the basic closes over. now yeah that's enough yes. but i mean this is like <laughs> nearly 60 points difference now from discipline to sk and they really need to push here and yeah this is maybe mm. beginning of a good push <laughs> maybe they need to get mid and they need to be enough alive to really get anything moving um, we can see that that, uh, uh, <laughs> one out from both sides at the same time. Um, both of them are a little bit thirsty, uh, but is that going to be able to mean that they're going to get that push going? Because they need to now. Mmm. Mm, that's not ideal. I think they only have the the one big time. I don't think they have another one, another pity cam at the back. I don't think so. And now it's over 10, 20 seconds. And it's only the T declared for this band now, and the Nautilus just respawning from the spawn. I don't think that the TT can. No, the TT is down. So yeah, the ball is yeah. just <laughs> it's just watching yeah. now yeah. as the as the pretty Clem just despawns for this band. Yeah, SKL <laughs> takes point number one. Yep. Yes, indeed. We did have like a kind of mm, the first push from SKL wasn't massive, but the second one really solidified that absolutely. And this band just they got one push, but they only got one pity. Or like one uh, clam, uh, clam football in, uh, which meant that that wasn't really the push that they needed. Um, yeah, that was not ideal for this band. I will say, not ideal. Yeah, I think there's potential for more scored points. <laughs> and mm. I mean, next up is Splat Zones. Splat Zones is mm. like. Yeah, often KO there, and it's also Maker Mart, so returning stage from Splatoon 2, so everybody here literally knows the truth how this map is played. I mean, I think these guys played Pan and Cool or Triton Cup or some stuff or tournaments, like, often enough, so they know how this works. So maybe this <laughs> one is, maybe it's just, maybe it's just, Clamus is not their mode. And maybe they yep. can paint more, I mean, okay, they're featuring duelies, but this is usually not. But I mean, they had a T-Tech, so <laughs> I'm a T-Tech main myself, so <laughs> yeah. Make -a Make -a Mart is kind of, it's kind of weird for playing as a T-Tech, I feel like, because like, okay, you can try to flip the zone with like your triple, in uh, your tri the triple in strikes, but you have to rely on your team that they get in with the ink strikes. And this is like the point where, where they have to have to work on, I think, because this is like, they, they were at the basket uh, at the last match, but they didn't like score. Nobody was there at the front <laughs> except the one who scored. So maybe <laughs> yeah. this is something you have to work on. Yeah, I'd say so. They just, hmm, at times as well, like I never really noticed any moments where they were kind of using their specials like exceptionally together. They might have used mm. a couple at the same time, but they didn't. It didn't show too much synergy in that regard, because uh, their pushes more happen. And to be fair, the, the good way to push is once you know everyone on the other team's dead. That's a pretty solid way to push. <laughs> um, but one, you need the clams to do that. Mm. Uh, and two, you need some kind of staying power once you're in there, which this band just didn't really have. Um, mm. And yeah, the other way to do it is with specials, um, but it just didn't really stand out to me. Uh, like at any point when they were like pushing together or trying to at least with mm. any kind of specials, it just didn't really, I think that's another thing that they might yeah, need but... to. But they they also featured like um like uh, the the Nautilus with the Ink Storm and also the Anza with the Tactic so they only had like the Crafting and the Tri Strikes to kind of get in yeah. a bit of aggressively. So maybe they change it up here. Oh yes, and we see a Carbon. <laughs> oh my yes, Lord. <laughs> okay, okay, and we also see a bit of a difference here from uh, SKL because I am <laughs> I'm seeing a ninety six. On yeah, with side. special power up, so they want they want the longer crack, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> they they oh. want the carnage. 
also we've got we've got a, a machine on the side of this band now and they've changed that nautilus over to a heavy so that's yeah. very very interesting um but yes already that's two down i think delayed three this is not yeah this is actually a delayed the wipe they, yeah yeah the, the card was taken out before Ooh. um not ideal um uh, but we're oh Okay. The Anza okay. pushed the left stack, from, and they actually got tra they got a pick, and then got traded out by the Octobrush. There. And look at look at the carbon sitting here, and, and <laughs> the Octobrush it makes so much damage, like just by falling off. And the carbon can't really get in, but the zoo, but the Booyah actually kind of gets him oh. in here. But now there is a Kraken. He can trade to fifty-two, and it's not only the Kraken left, but also two players from this band. You can only get in, and it's only thirty points now remaining. But they can't flip now. Yes, yes, indeed, because that is the one thing very specifically with the 96. You are not going to be painting that zone. You just <laughs> oh, cannot no. outpaint pretty much anything. So <laughs> uh, that makes sense why that was flipped. But the question is, how long are they going oh. to be able to keep that? And that's two down on each side. But that's another person down on the side of SKL. I do believe that uh, they had Tacticooler active. So yeah. that means that everyone's kind of yeah. back in <laughs> there they are pretty again. swiftly. Hello, <laughs> Kraken! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> this oh, is it's... what we were expecting, I suppose, uh, yeah. from... So yeah, only they have a special charge. move left right now. So last player standing for this band getting actually the pick on the answer, but there's a 52, Ooh. and they also get taken out. This is great play from the heavy spinning, but <laughs> then the, the 96 says no. You're gonna go back into spawn anyways. <laughs> and now when they have two specials for this band now, the Trizuka and the Booyah Bomb, they could potentially get it in. But oh my God, watch for the kill away. And now they get the 96 out, and also the Booyah Bomb flies into the zone, and they might get a flip off of this. They might indeed, if they're able to get the paint down, but I'm not sure if they're... It's still neutral, but it is very much... Never mind, I was going to say it was in SKL's favor, but not for long. Um, yep, this is very good uh, for Disband, being able to switch it back over. Um, SKL's got to be careful on how they come back in, and also um, make sure that they're able to pick the fights that they want here. Um, Ooh. Yeah, but the carbon did go down for this, but this is actually not the situation you want because they did go down on the right side and on the left side where they can actually poke <laughs> poke the damn ledge. This is what carbon really can, and they also can take out the Octobrush here. <laughs> but there is also a Kraken swimming down the zone, neutralizing. But this is now changing lead for this, and they now in front. Oh and this is also God. two down again for SKL with the 96 respawning right now. And this is more points ticking down for this, and this is now 20 points left only. Yep, yes, indeed. This is very much going in Disband's favor here. They just need to hold this for another 10 points, and then that will be game. They're trying their best, but that's oh. two down. This does, this is, that's flipped. Um, yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely nice flipped. Retake. <laughs> yeah, they just do every special they had, like Kill a Whale and, 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 the, and, the, and the Zip Cast for Dr. Brush. We, what? They did. Can take it what out, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this was like four <laughs> shots, four hits from the heavy spending. This was, oh my god. <laughs> okay, but there's another Kraken now deployed from the 96 gun, forcing the heavy spending to retreat here, but they might get a pick oh! here, and they do. But it's two versus two right now, and the zone flips in favor of this man again. They could potentially take down their, their penalty points here, but there is a 96 against the carbon, really? and the and 96 usually doesn't, doesn't have so much. They can't, they can't survive it because of their wall. They didn't have any any pain, but what? how did they survive? Teach me, Senpai. <laughs> yeah, that is insane. But here we're still, those, those penalty points, they were at one. Disband was at one penalty point. And Eskaya was able not over. to flip it. It's not over yet. Certainly not. But no. this is just chaos. People going down yes. left and right. Um, but it does definitely seem that whenever uh, Dispan can get any kind of a foothold, they they find it quite easy to paint the zone and get it covered. Um, but they just have to have that that kind of foothold moment to get there. Um, and this is looking like it's about to be another one. This is Ooh. okay. SKL's back in their spawn, um, mm. except for wherever the frick that Octobrush is. Uh, because yeah. that one didn't die. Um, they might be sharking somewhere, or <laughs> they might be... <laughs> Who knows? But it's just, like, now five seconds remaining, and they get a pick with the Trizuka, and this is now... I think it's game, and yes, this yes. is. And this yes. closes out the 1-1, one -one, and this is taking us to a tiebreaker match. <laughs> this is a good start okay. to the tournament, Zari. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, we're starting well here. Oh my goodness. This is like, after the first game, we were like, oh, it's this bad. Maybe, maybe clams isn't your your vibe. Maybe it's not what you're looking for. And yeah, I don't think it's their vibe. Uh, personally, going from that game, um, but, <laughs> but the real question is, is SKL going to come back swinging on Rainmaker? Because it's going to be Rainmaker Eel Tail. Right? Well, so hey, is this gonna be. We're gonna see some more games again. Oh, oh my god. Pun intended. The only weapon swing was the carbon on this band's side. <laughs> pun intended. Oh my god. <laughs> but but SKL does have an Octobrush that is swinging too. So oh, it really, oh my god. I, I it really depends. <laughs> it depends what, what we're getting from these two teams here. Because. It's very much all to play for, tiebreaker, love mm. to see it. Um, both of these teams probably going to take a little moment to be like, right, how do we counter this? Because mm. Rainmaker be like that. Um, <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I kind of feel like that we don't see uh, the Octobrush again from SKL because this is like... You don't have the flank routes. I mean, make is like, okay, you have two flank routes and you won't be seen if you go there. And then you have no eel chain, you have like one straight line you can go through. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe you can work with the zip caster a bit, but I don't think they can utilize it very well here. So, yeah. I think we might see a change up here. I don't. But I'm what? also. <laughs> yeah, don't the, I, I don't know the roster. <laughs> I don't know any of these <laughs> players here. So, I don't know. <laughs> and I mean. Uh <laughs> I also, also, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if, if they keep the carbon dispense side to be fair either. So, mm. yeah, because it's not like carbon can work incredibly well in the same way mm. that uh, Octobrush can on Macomart, regardless of specials anyway, just because of the elevation and like the ledges and stuff like that. Um, but you don't get that to the same kind of degree. Like there's certain parts of Eeltail that yes, have mm. that, um, but not to the same degree and the mobility possibilities that you have with Mako. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a change up here, but we're getting into it. Um, I should mention that freaking Spy is talking <laughs> trash about Barnacle not being in the map list. Don't worry, <laughs> we know. We, we talked about this, we know. We're aware. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We will all cry when we're in the break. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Oh, they're sticking with it though. They're sticking with that octobrush. Um, mm, but... Interesting, but they changed up the carbon actually. Yeah, the carbon's gone. But, but actually, yeah, I mean, they, they keep the Trizuka here, but let's see who gets the pop first now. I mean, oh yeah, okay. There's... This one? <laughs> yeah, there, there were some <laughs> such bombs <laughs> flying through the air for this one. And there's also the Trizuka now coming back from the V shot here. Ooh. Not taking one out I think but look at the Octobrush Ooh. hiding here and they get out the Sloshin and another the V shot again this is two down now for SKL and for Despite and maybe SKL can push now okay no there's an Inkjet no 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 Inkjet <laughs> 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 how to stop a push in one step Inkjet <laughs> pull Inkjet out Inkjet <laughs> probably no, there's probably another one. from from uh, a ballpoint specifically no. um, but yeah Oh my god, the chaos, the true chaos. Both teams just trying to find some kind of, um, like, like, kind of foothold of men and neither having it yet. Just looking for people to die. Um, <laughs> that is just both end zaps back to spawn. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is chaos. <laughs> Yeah, both teams looking for the first pick, and now the Octopus dies, so but the Spell Shot actually jumps back onto the bridge. And now also the ballpoint is dead, but it's just... They all they always get like one pick down. It's it's, it's this man's favorite now as the Octopus <laughs> and the Sloshy trade. But, I mean, this man picks the Rainmaker, but they don't really have some kind of real advantage here, and the Rainmaker gets picked out instantly. So, yeah, I mean, it's one minute and a half, and... Literally nothing happened. Like there's zero points scored for each team. But now look at SKL like getting back into mid. Everybody's shooting at the Rainmaker and with the cooler, they might be getting off something. But there's one pick now down for this ban. Maybe they get something here. Yeah, I I like to say uh, we this was almost two minutes in here, and mm. that's the first checkpoint that's been touched. Right? They've been fighting this entire battle in oh. mid, but that is three people dying for disband. That that slushing is not going to be able to pop that and not going to mm -hmm. be able to protect it. Absolutely not. Um, but someone oh, else but is... Oh, but they can stop the Rainmaker. Yeah, there that we go. Huge. That is very important, and especially 
kind of before anything could really happen with it. Um, mm -hmm. So I think, what, was that one point I got? But still, like... <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> nothing beyond that. Um, but yeah, still, this man's kind of on the back foot here. They need to find their... This might, be, this might be what they need, but but it is important to notice that uh, the tactic cooler was up for them, so they will not. Mm. It will not take long for SKL to be back here uh, and ready um, for the counter push mm. that Dispatch yeah. is going to have to have here. I mean, it's it's again one down for each side, and everybody's responding so quick because of the tactical you just mentioned. And there's another tactical now for this one, and they picked the <laughs> Raymaker, but there's also nobody down for SKL, and there's the Inkjet flying through the air, gets traded out by the by the Stosh machine, and it's only the ball for left now. And they, yeah, they just got the Raymaker to aid, and they actually wanted to go for the right side, or they didn't want to hide. What was the plan there? Who knows what was going through their minds? <laughs> but it is important to note that there is an Inkjet, there we go, that was ready for this counter push. Not quite sure if they're going to be able to get anyone as they kind of hide uh, near the, the bridge itself. They weren't able to find what they were looking for with that special there. Maybe used just a slight tad prematurely. Um, but yeah, this is not ideal for Dispound. Mm -hmm. It's now two down again, and the V shot needs to take out the ball from here as the Rainmaker goes through beyond 30. Now they can go through the street, but they only get it to 22. But it's a massive push compared to the one with this band who had uh, up until now. So, oh, because the taxi cooler plays where that one is just blocking the Rainmaker, <laughs> the path of it. This is actually smart, and it's also oh, it's only the ball point left, and it's now wiped <gasps> against this band, but they can respond now. It's only the Octobrush coming out from Spawn for Excel, yep, so yep, like so. wiped for both sides. <laughs> but, 50 <laughs> seconds left for this man, and they need to push to 11, so they kind of nearly need to KO now. This is yeah, they, they not have a easy. long way to go here mm. and not a lot of time to do it in. Um, they need to be getting uh, a lot of picks here. There's one that 52 goes down, um, <gasps> but but the... the ooh, yep, there we go. Uh, the Sloshing was able to go up into that um, their special to protect ooh. themselves. But this Huge is three from down. The yeah, this is that was three down for, for SKL there. They they are very much waiting at the back here, waiting for Dispan to push. Oh my goodness, what a shot! What a shot! Um, but there's still too many too many people around. This yeah, is not a very safe push at the moment, especially yeah. with it being overtime. Yeah, they don't have any other special, and you see the Zipcaster from the Octobus on the other side is ready now, and they take it out, and this might be oh. game now for SKL, but then no, they can take out, but there's now the Inkjet <laughs> finishing off the Rainmaker. Oh my god, again, the Inkjet clutch, oh. by the way. <laughs> yes, yeah, we love to see it. Freaking hell. <laughs> yep, there's a reason why both Tacticolors and the, the ball point are incredibly meta. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Incredibly yeah, I mean, so. But I mean, it's I'm actually fine with um, Inkjet kind of being in the meta because mm. you actually kind of need skill for that and you also need to know like where to position yourself to actually get good value out of your special. This is not like... Yes. It's like Crafting was like, okay, hi, I, I'm <laughs> setting you here. And you yeah, until you die. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't get past me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I've got my special. Guess what? You're going to die. Yeah. Like, oh. mm. and to, yeah. please, let's not talk about missiles. This is even worse. <laughs> oh, I'm setting my spawn and I can just kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Welcome. I'm going to rain terror upon you from above. <laughs> You're welcome. Literally raining on that fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yes, I will mention that, again, Spy is talking about what? Something to do with the <laughs> too much caffeine and sugar from all the tacticalers and yet yeah, are there <laughs> are there like in Coppola or well we're, we're Splatsville like <laughs> dentists do we actually have any because I think we might need some but anyway we've been told to go to a break that was a very short tangent thank you for inspiring it's fine um but yes <laughs> what a what a set of matches that was um yes yes perfect indeed. opening for this padding pool 226 mm. spy this is the number <laughs> i know it yes <laughs> very important very important yes. but right we will be back <laughs> shortly after this break uh it shouldn't take too long and we'll be back with our round two hell yeah so stick around guys see you soon <laughs> 